Hello campers and RVers. I wanted to show you my 2019 Airstream 22 FB Sport. I purchased it in January of 2019 and I tow the rig with a 2018 GMC Sierra 1500. There is a uh, storage compartment here to put items up and it's not very large but uh, you can go ahead and put some items in there for storage. For 15 inch tires. I had this bike rack put on and also the bumper, the uh, RV did not come with it. The Airstream did not come with it. So I had that put on afterwards. Over here is water. When you're hooked up to city water and uh, or shore water. And this you hook up when you're dumping the tanks to clean them out. So you can keep your tanks real clean. There's an outdoor shower in which I've never used. Um, this is cable TV outlet and also where I plug in to my Starlink and I have a separate video on how I did that myself. And I did a, maybe a couple of videos on how I hook up to the Starlink and it's so easy and I don't have any computer skills or anything like that and it works just great. And then this is the uh, 30 amp input. Over here is the refrigerator. You just check that once in a while to make sure that there aren't any cobwebs or bugs getting in there. And here's the other part of the refrigerator. I guess I'm gonna have to fix this. This is coming loose. Something else to fix. Down here is um, hot water. And over here is where you can fill up your fresh water tank. It's pretty easy to do. Just unscrew this and then put your hose in there and fill it up. And it'll start overflowing if you put in too much. It's pretty easy. And over here is uh, the furnace. And I had these guards put in because I use my RV. It's not a yard ornament. Uh, so I use it and I didn't want the uh, front getting dinged up too bad with all the debris that's on the freeway. It's amazing how much debris is flying around out of people's trucks, pickup trucks, and they're not securing things, but that's why I did that. This is where my propane pain tanks are located. And I had a second one put in. Came with one, and I had a second one installed. I love propane. It's incredibly efficient and easy to use. Uh, these are my 12 volt batteries, and I had the second one installed when I purchased the RV. This is where you empty out your tanks, the gray water and also the black tank. It's totally dirty because of the places I've been. It did come with an awning that I rarely use because it, uh, it's pretty windy in the locations that I go to and I like to go hiking and, and do other things. Uh, and I'm not going to pay to get it replaced because they're incredibly sensitive to the wind and so I just rarely use them. Maybe 
few times in my life. But other than that, um, this down here is where the hose is kept for cleaning out your black and gray tanks. And that's the hose, and I did a video on that a while back. So you can check that out if you're interested in learning how to empty tanks. It's pretty easy. So with that, we'll go ahead and take a tour inside. I had this screen put on because at the time that I purchased the RV, I had two dogs. One of them has since passed away. But um, this just keeps the screen from them scratching against it and keeps it keeps it nice in place. Pretty easy to install. Four screws, and I think this was around $80. So this is the, the bedroom area, and I have storage cabinets above where I keep my clothes, and they have LED lights, and a propane detector, and fire detector, and plenty of light in here. That's one of the things I really like. The storage area opens up, the slides open for you to put your clothes or whatever you want inside and then when you're going down the road obviously you want to go ahead and close these up I have some lights um, up there this is more area that I need to fix and I'll do that in a future video uh, where this laminate's coming off of the um, uh, holder here or the storage unit so I'm gonna need to fix that. So there's also storage underneath the bed and it just lifts up. There are four containers that come with the Airstream. They're just plastic containers. And they just fit underneath there. There's also a door here that you can access underneath the bed. Opening this access door and going underneath. I really don't keep anything in there. Um, I uh, keep some extra sleeping bags in case it's cold and blankets, but other than that, um, not, not much else. It's kind of a challenge to get underneath there. And over here, they have a couple of outlets over here by the bed. You can plug in your iPad or charge your phone. There's actually four of them, four, four outlets. And I need to fix this because it's all coming apart, as you can see. It's too bad. And then there's a 120 outlet there. They have a curtain here that I'm not sure what we'd use that for. I guess if you had a big family sleeping in here and you wanted privacy. Uh, but uh, I don't I'll never use that. It's nice and spacious, it's nice and bright, and I am currently at White Sands National Park. It's getting pretty warm out here. It was nice earlier. But anyways, to take the tour, I do have a refrigerator and it's nice. It's a uh, propane electric and battery operated uh, refrigerator. It's a Dometic. I do have a TV set and it's a 120. It's not a 12 volt and I have storage cabinets and I have this rod up here and I put a little bit of Velcro on it so I can keep it up here. And this is what you use to take the awning up and down when I do use the awning. These are the storage cabinets that you can keep stuff in. And over here, they do have a radio. Uh, 
it also controls the TV if you want to watch a DVD. Um, this is another problem I'm having is all of the laminate is coming undone throughout the trailer. But that'll be another video. Anyways, that's that. And I did a earlier video on how I installed the Starlink to have it come through here and then just plug it in. Pretty easy. And this is the heater control when you're using the propane. And then this is a fan for the refrigerator when you're in real hot weather. Here is my two burner propane stove. And I did a video on that because one of the burners wasn't working. But now they are. There is the microwave that I rarely use. There's storage in here. I put shoes in there. There's storage in this cabinet. And I keep bags in there. And two sinks. For additional counter space, uh, comes with these plastic uh, covers to put over the sink and that gives you additional working space or for uh, preparing meals if, if you need to. I don't usually use these. I have enough counter space with what they provide um, but if I'm working a project or something I'll sometimes pull these out and use them. And a window over the sink and there is Bluetooth up there if you're into that. A nice uh, LED light. Underneath is a s storage cabinet that's underneath the sink. And not a big fan of how they designed this, so I need to work on a solution. There is a hole in the back, as you can see, where the plumbing comes through, and sometimes uh, the Tupperware or items fall back there so you have to take things apart to get the Tupperware out or when you're doing maintenance you pull the stuff out of there. On the right hand side here is uh, another storage area and then there's a drawer for your silverware. And so that's really nice. I like that. That's pretty much it. You always want to make sure that you close these doors tight otherwise uh, everything falls on the floor. There's also a little storage place here. I just keep spices and um, some soap in there. Sometimes I'll put some other things in there, but I don't like this stuff falling out when I'm going down the road. This is the dinette area, and I absolutely love the dinette, and um, I have the table fixed now. The cushions come off, and, it, and um, the cushions come off and then you can make this into uh, a bed or like a couch and which I never do it's so bright here I had to shut the door anyways underneath this the cushions is a little storage area and these cushions just come unzipped just with velcro and there's a storage area underneath where you can put different things and there's a little access door to put things. These windows are awesome with the amount of light that they let in. So I just opened up the shade and the, the light is incredible. It really, really brightens up the place um, having the, the light having the, the screen the shades up um, these are two outlets um, one for the exterior by the stairs so if you have to take your dog out or go outside it's like a little night light and this is for overhead also on the back of the dinette is a little um, magazine rack you can put things in. I personally don't use use it because the books or magazines tend to fall on the floor so I really don't use it. 
There's also a fire extinguisher in the event that there's a emergency and you need to put out a fire. So this is the storage cabinet where I keep clothes and towels and hats and, and other things. I also keep the Starlink down below and uh, it has a little access, it has a little LED light here that works on the battery and that's really convenient. Um, the laminate is coming apart. The laminate's coming apart here so I'm gonna need to fix that like I did the table. And also it's coming apart up here so I'm gonna need to do some repair work here in the future. Um, I keep this little cheat sheet here to remind myself uh, how much everything uh, contains, how much water, fresh water, gray, and black. There is a uh, fan, and it's pretty easy to use. Um, just untwist to open it up, and it uh, turns on. It works off of the battery, so it's great when you're boondocking. You just uh, turn on the power. So it's pretty easy to use. You just have to remember to always close the uh, hatch up here because you don't want that flying off when you're going down the road. That's I use it on occasion. It's nice to have. The bathroom is really nice. It has a sink, a toilet, and a shower. And uh, it has this shower door, it's like an accordion. And then it has a little snap here for you. Snap to keep it in place when you're going down the road. It's pretty easy to do. I use this as kind of like a towel rack up above. Why not? It works out pretty well. And um, inside the shower um, does have like a little nozzle for you to a uh, button for you to turn the water on and off if you're on trying to conserve your water and uh, it's pretty easy to use. And I really like the shower. There's also a little um, storage area down below um, in that area. I do not use that. Um, I don't know what bottles would fit in that uh, particular location. For example, the shampoo bottles, they don't fit. They, they're too tall, and if you get the, the trial size items, if you get the trial size, um, they just fall down and then fall down onto the floor. So um, I, I don't use this area at all. There is some storage uh, located above the window in the bathroom. And uh, that's pretty convenient to put items. And there's also a mirror that swings out and you just have to remember to close it before you get back on the road. Additionally, there's some storage uh, in the bathroom underneath the counter uh, to, keep, uh, to keep items, which is very helpful. There's also storage underneath the sink which is very helpful and also to access the plumbing. But it's nice, it has two 120 amp electrical aerials. Uh, it's your monitoring system, what, how much fresh water you have, how much gray water you have, and how much black water you have. Additionally, down below are your controls for your water heater and your ceiling light. So water heater, um, it's pretty efficient, heats it up very quickly, it's nice. Board here, a whiteboard to write down uh, messages or keep a grocery list. There's also these hooks. I keep my keys on the, the hooks and um, maybe a trash bag. So I hope you enjoyed watching the very detailed tour of my beautiful Airstream and thanks for watching.